Hi guys, I'm back. In today's video is about the reasons why I'm writing blah blah blah. So when you start writing a thesis, you need a subject. And that subject usually is something either that fascinates you or makes you really angry. And I think blah 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 was a bit of both. It, it was oh, went through different stages of fascinations and anger. But when I apply my MA, you also have to apply... Um, um, major proposal and it was completely different of what I'm doing right now it was more like a general aspect of communication and a culture difference and it was a lot more related to my BA than it is right now with blah 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 and I remember the reasons why because I was really angry at advertising Brazil not because it's bad but because during the World Cup and the Olympics they were doing a lot of stuff they were the same like stereotypes and identity and it kind of resumed Brazil as only being uh, uh, about nature, animals, women, samba, and carnival, football, and the things that pursue so much more than that. So it was really frustrating to see companies not trying that hard to connect the country. So I tried to refine this very broad subject and kind of specify what I meant about communication and which channel I was talking about and also the hypothesis why companies couldn't see that as something so ob that was so obvious for me. And then I noticed I just went too broad on everything. It was just such a big subject. I was talking about globalization, national communication, a stereotype, language, and it's just, it was kind of not going to the direction I wanted and actually wasn't what I wanted to talk about in the end. And then I started noticing that what I wanted to say wasn't related by language, it was more related about my personal experience. So yeah, I'm Brazilian, but I was born in Belo Horizonte, raised in Rio de Janeiro and spent half of my life in Fortaleza. And besides all of that, I have family in the UK and I have family in Austria and I always live in this quite multicultural environment and I could see how important it was to be careful and how hard it is to communicate between cultures and the accidents and misinterpretations that it can happen. Actually, I noticed that since I was a kid where I had this kind of situation that it was my first day in school in Fortaleza and I was really nervous and excited to go through it and there was this girl seated next to me and she gave me this paper and said Heboloi, which translated would be come on we go and I did dance in the middle of the class at everyone starting laughing and then I discovered that the world word Hebola which translated to English as we go actually meant something different in the city it meant throw something away so she gave me the paper to throw away in the bin and I started dancing and it's really embarrassing saying that but it tr truly happened and since then I became like 110% aware of the words I was using to make sure there was no mistakes or embarrassing situations like that one so I start seeing that it has a lot more to do on how companies stereotype the sculptures and how we are more than just, just that stereotype, like how companies should deal with that. And uh, I started talking to some friends and they were also very annoyed about advertising. And then I noticed they all, they're pretty much like me. They come from different countries or different cities or they have parents from different cultural backgrounds. So they were basically a total fail to ask them. I needed information from outside of my circle. I needed to know information that was out there from someone different. But then during one of the units, I was introduced to this video, a TED talk, uh, don't ask where I come from, ask where I'm local from Thais Selassie in 2014. And she, she just like, she said everything that I needed to hear. And she was com uh, mentioning about how people try to define her by one nation when she was more than one nation, because nation is a man-made term and we cannot be defined by something that is man-made because we are beyond that. And then she starts saying how she's a multilocal, and I kind of like, gosh, multilocal, this term is just 
amazing and I need to go further on that because usually we are defined by a country and the passport we have or like companies do generations so usually they base us on generation millennials or uh, millennial or uh, x uh, z and a b c d and all this stuff and the thing is that we are much more than our age or the year we were born we are made of this small elements they are our experience and that's what really make who we are so that's what my thesis will be about, like how understanding this kind of concept of multi logos and experience can help companies to improve their communication by creating more informal conversations and meaningful uh, content. So I really hope you like this. Please like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends.